I'm showing you how to get Kami Blue client for Minecraft Java edition. So to get this, you want to head over to kamiblue.org. This is going to be linked down in the description below together actually with my Discord server and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website over here, simply click on this download button and then click on this download latest button once again. Then the download will automatically start. As you can see in my downloads, I have the Kami Blue installer right over here. To use this, you need the Java program made by Oracle. If you don't have this or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. You will already have this if you've ever modded Minecraft before. Think of something like Forge or Fabric. And some people will also just have it installed anyways. Either way, you want to just double click on this and that is going to open it up as you can see. If that doesn't work, then you want to right click, go to open with, and then select the Java platform I just said you needed. That will open up the Kami Blue installer. You want to select stable. It'll download it. As you can see, that happens pretty quickly. We can click on OK over here. And now because this file is just the installer, we can delete that if we do want to do so. And now we can simply open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you're inside of the Minecraft launcher, you need to make sure that you've selected Forge 1.12.2. If you don't have Forge or you're not sure where to get it, then this will also be linked down in the description below. Anyways, once you have that, you can simply click on play. And that'll bring you right into Minecraft, where I'll now open up a single player world and show you exactly how to use this. So here I am inside of Minecraft. As you can see, I have Kami Blue 2.04.21 beta right here. And to use this, you can simply press on Y on your keyboard and then you'll be brought to the clicked UI area, which you can see over here. Uh, mine is organized a little weirdly, so I can simply just go like this and reorganize it a little. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about everything that this client has and how you can use it. Basically, this right here is the click GUI. You can click on these utilities to turn them on. Click on them once again to turn them off. They'll be highlighted when they've been turned on. Do keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these menus as to not miss out on things. If you hover above the utilities, then you'll get a brief description of them as well. And you can actually right click on them and that'll open up a customization menu. Now these customization menus differ for every single one of the utilities. As you can see, there's quite a few things you can do here, and one thing almost all of them allow you to do is set a key bind, which you can simply do by clicking on this bind area and then clicking on any key on your keyboard. In this case, I just pressed K. You can press on the delete key whilst clicking on that, and that'll remove the key bind for you. Now that's basically it for this click GUI area, and that should also be pretty self-explanatory. But there's a few more things you can look at in this client area over here that includes a bunch of things for Kami Blue that aren't just regular utilities. First off, we have this tooltips area, which will display handy module descriptions in the GUI. You can turn this off, and now as you can see, I won't get um, the little boxes that pop up. For the rest, we have a HUD and a HUD editor. You can toggle the HUD on and off by turning this on and off. As you can see, there's a few HUD elements currently, which includes this array list, which displays all active elements. There, as you can see. And there's also the uh, watermark, which you can see on the top left side right now. Anyways, we can go into the HUD editor by clicking on that, and then we'll get a bunch of things that we can add to the HUD, which we can see right over here. You can click on them and that's going to turn them on. And now as you can see, they're all spawning in here. This includes stuff like radars, stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of things here. Um, you can simply drag all of these around, place them wherever you want. Maybe I want this one over here. And I want this radar to be down here so I can look at it well. And of course, all examples, you can turn them off once again if you do wish to do so. You can press on escape to close out of here and I'll open up this once again and if you want to turn off the HUD entirely then you can simply click on this and that'll turn off the entire thing. As you can see only the watermark is left on my screen now. You can't remove that. Anyways, 
opening up the HUD customization menu, as you can see, you can set a keybind for that. And so you can use a specific key on your keyboard to turn that on or off. For the rest, we have the GUI colors area, which allows you to customize the colors of this GUI area. Custom font area, which allows you to set a custom font. We have configurations. For the rest, we have the command config, which I'll get to in a second. The click GUI, which will open up the click GUI. If you right click on this, you will see that the bind to the click GUI to the click GUI is by default Y, which I said, you can actually change this through here if you wish to do so. For the rest, there's a few visual changes you can make there. And then this client also has baritone, which I'm getting to right now. Closing out of the click GUI, this client actually has more. We can open up the chat over here. And as you can see, there's already a few things that got put in the chat. And now there's a few more because the rain is depressing. Anyways, this client actually supports commands. Just like in regular Minecraft, where you would use the slash to prefix your commands, in Hammy Blue, you use the semicolon. As you can see, it'll tell you you're using the right command prefix because this turns blue over here. Minecraft crashed, I'm not sure why, but you can type the semicolon and then help for some general help, which you can see over here, or semicolon help, and then commands, just like this, and you'll get a list of all the commands that this client supports, as well as a brief description of what they do. If you're not sure how to use the commands yet, however, well then you can simply type semicolon help, and then the name of the command. For example, toggle, just like this, and it'll tell me exactly how to use the toggle command. For the rest, this client also supports Baritone. Baritone is the Minecraft automation slash pathfinding mod. I have an entire in-depth tutorial on exactly how to use Baritone, um, so I won't get into it too much now as it's pretty complicated and there's like infinite things you can do with Baritone. Anyways, to use it, you can simply use the semicolon B commands and that'll allow you to prefix all of the Baritone commands. So for example, semicolon B goal, this will now be set as my goal. Once again, to get more in-depth tutorial on exactly how to use Baritone, please visit the video that's gonna be linked down in the description below. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.